what we're looking at here are two by ten roof rafters they are nailed together so these are double new roof rafters and they're about 24 foot long um, from seat cut to seat cut or from wall to wall and the reason why I'm making this video is to point out that sometimes you're going to run into things like these roof rafters that might work out well on paper through the structural engineering and the mathematical calculations but might not work out as well in the field these roof rafters were so heavy and so long that they sagged um, they basically it was the weight of themselves that was creating the sag in the roof and I would guess that the roof had about a two inch to a three inch sag in it and I didn't put a string on it um, I, I didn't want to because I could just I could just imagine how how bad it was but I did sight it from the ground and you could see it definitely had a had something noticeable in it now would this be a problem you know you think about it um, well it might not be a problem now while we're building the thing um, but uh, later on in the future as this thing continued to sag because of the weight then of course it could be a problem so I just wanted to kind of make point this out to anyone who's working in the construction industry as a home builder or a contractor or even a carpenter that you could run into situations where the engineering components like the roof rafters um, might actually end up creating a problem instead of solving one now to make matters even worse they went ahead and added another roof to the interior um, putting um, additional stress onto the already under, under engineered and this is my personal opinion under engineered roof rafters that were already sagging um, I went outside actually and looked and it did look like this the weight of this this thing actually caused it to sag a little more um, than it already is but that could have been an optical illusion now some of you might be thinking that um, something like this could actually be bracing providing additional um, structural support instead of actually adding to the problem could actually be um, providing it additional support in one way and I don't really agree with that because I would I would imagine you would need to at least have installed the roof rafters at a 45 degree angle or should I say the interior roof rafters that are would be viewed as supporting the roof instead of adding more weight to it or you know making the problem even worse the reason why I made the video is just to point out that you are going to run into problems sometimes that um, might work out well on paper in the structural engineering end of it um, but might not work out as well in the field